everyone, Matt Lins for WCTV Sports, and today we're bringing you Wareham High School versus Bishop Stang, and we are in the final game of the 2023 Invitational Tournament at Aponiquit High School in Lakeville. This should be an interesting and evenly matched game. On Monday, Stang beat Martha's Vineyard by a score of 65 to 47, and the Vikings beat the Aponiquit Lakers 67 to 42. So very similar in points scored and points allowed. So this should be a very even game. We're looking forward to a good game and glad you're with us and we'll be back with starting lineups right after this.
WCTV Sports brings you the championship game in the Mitch Kaliga Classic for 2023. It's the Wareham Vikings against the Bishop Stang Spartans. We said in the opening this should be a pretty even game. Both teams very similar in the first round on Monday in points scored and points allowed. Stang beat Martha's Vineyard 65 to 47. The Vikings beat the Lakers 67 to 42. Stang wins the tip. Nice block by A.J. Lopes. On Dejon Gibson as he was going to the basket. Long three. No good. Rebound finds its way to Gibson, who works his way into the paint for a mid-range jumper, but it's crossing and comes down with the defensive board. Nice move by A.J. Lopes to get the Vikings on the board. Lopes was one of the leading scorers for the Vikings in Monday's game. Sage Baptiste gets, gets the Spartans on the board. It's two to two, a minute into the game. Aaron Cody gives a lead back to the Vikings. Lopes knocks it away from Gibson. That's not a backcourt because, it, oh, whoa, nice defense by Gibson. It was not backcourt because it was tipped away by Lopes. But Gibson able to chase him down and prevent a scoring opportunity. Again, similar styles. Talbot Lown hits a three to put Stang on top, five to four. From the free throw line, Lopes just bounces in and out. Crossing, got the rebound and the putback. And the foul. Crossing's gonna get to the line for one. Call the foul against Sage Baptiste. That's his first personal as Crossan puts in the extra point. But seven to five, six minutes to go in the first. We're him on top. Working against Crossan to Sage Baptiste. We're him with another defensive rebound. I hand it off to Cody. Cody's going to take a shot from beyond the line. That's no good. Mello tracks down the rebound. Able to get it away to Cody. Cody driving in the lane, kicks it out to Lopes. Lopes for a three, yes! Graham doubled up on Bishop Stang, leading 10 to five. Dejon Gibson, try whoa, trying to drive the lane. Working against Lopes. Lopes went to the floor, no foul. Ball out of bounds, off of Wareham. Stang possession. Gibson getting double teamed, has that pass deflected and blocked. Lopes up ahead to Cody. Cody's gonna work into double team coverage here. It takes a moment to reset. Cross is gonna set a screen for Mello. Mello takes a three. That's off the rim. Jaquan Pittman in there to try to bat it back in and get it to fall. Cody with a long three off the back of the rim. And it's into the hand of Dejon Gibson, who comes up the other way. Gibson working against Cody and Pittman and gets a foul. What? 
Personal foul against Pittman and Dejan Gibson is at the line for two shots. <laughs> well, somebody tried to distract him, but it didn't work. <laughs> Gibson doesn't let the crowd distract him. He sinks both his free throws to make it 10 to 7. Graham leads. Four and a half minutes to go in the first. Lopes trying to go up to the basket, has a shot blocked. And since it was off of a staying defender on the block, Wareham still has possession. Ella's going to feed it to Crossan in the paint. Crossan puts it up and in. Five point lead, 12 to seven. Under four to go in the quarter. Opening quarter here in Lakeville. Bishop Stang versus Wareham. There's a three for the Bishop Stang. That's in and out. That was a good looking shot. Pittman thought about a three, pulled it down. Mello's gonna take it instead. It's off the rim and out of bounds. Lob into Crossing. He's going to pass it over to Pittman. Uh, Lopes trying to find some space in traffic. The pass goes out of bounds. Spartans ball with 3.20 to go. Down by five. Gibson directing traffic. Working around Lopes. Trying to knock that ball away from Gibson. Almost succeeded. Pittman with a break on the ball and a steal. And Pittman goes up. No call. And they're going to call it out of bounds on Wareham. So it's Bishop Stang basketball. But no foul as Pittman went up. Gibson working against Crossing. It's up and over into the hands of Cody. Cody coming back fast the other way. Feeds Lopes. Lopes up off the backboard and in. Lopes made a break on Gibson on the pass. This is going to be a nice wide open three. And Lown knocks down his second three of the quarter. Make it 14 to 10. It's a four point Wareham lead. 2.16 to go in the quarter. Cody steps around the defender. Say it went off a of Viking's foot, so Stang will inbound. Gibson, the senior, working against Crossing right now. Finds in nice move, nice move inside by Sage Baptiste. Who gets the layup? Cuts it to a two point Wareham lead. A nice move as he ducked around the defender to go up to the basket. So 
Cody kicks it out to Pittman. Ten on the shot clock. Lopes into traffic, kicks it out. Cody's three is going to be a little short, and it's rebounded by the Spartans. Gibson kicks it outside. Back over to Gibson. Baptiste is going to take a three, and that's good. The Stang takes the lead with less than a minute to play. 15-14. Mello's going to take a deep three. That's going to be off the rim. But Cody with the rebound feeds Mello coming into the lane, and Mello puts it in. Graham takes the one-point lead back, 40 seconds and a running clock in the first quarter. Baptiste against Crossan. That three-point falls short. And Stang had a player go down, so they're going to have to stop, stop play here. That's Valero that's on the floor. Valero's going to need to be helped off the floor. We certainly hope he's going to be okay. Not sure if it's a knee or an ankle, but he cannot put any weight on the left leg right now. Jackson Prince will come in to the game in Valero's place. Graham's going to inbound with 23.2 seconds left on the clock in the first quarter and a one-point lead. just going to hold it for the last shot of the quarter. There's no shot clock. It's going to be Jace Travis taking the three. Oh, that's in and out. I'm going to get a foul on crossing. It's his first personal. Second team foul for the Vikings. 5.2 seconds left on the clock in the first. Gibson trying to set up a fast shot. They get the shot off in time, and it's in. Gavin DeMora with the buzzer beater three. And we are going to end the first quarter. Bishop staying on top, 18 to 16. Start of the second quarter, Wareham has possession trailing 16 to 18 against Bishop Stang. Lopes and Crossan with the lead scorers in the first quarter. And Lopes has one go in and out. Pass three. Talent Lown has hit nothing but threes. That's three of them. To give Stang a 21 to 16 lead. Travers pulls up at the free throw line, but his shot's off the mark. Jaquan Pittman gets the rebound and the putback. That's deficit to three for Wareham. 18 to 21, 704 left in the second. Gibson working against Carrion. Ooh, smart play by Mello. Trying to keep it alive, so he threw it in and off of a Stang player to get it out of bounds. Jaquan's gonna take a three. Oh, close. 
Travis with the rebound and the putback, but he can't get it to fall. Travis now tracks down the loose ball, kicks it back out. Lopes is calling for it, get a look at a three, and he gets it. Lopes ties the game with six and a half to go in the second, 21 all. Call charge against Baptiste. <laughs> Carrying on and Lopes working to clean up the floor. Lopes puts up a three, that's a little long. Nice rebound by Cody. Gibson steps up to challenge his three-point shot, so he has to get rid of it. Working back around to Pittman. Pittman lost his footing, able to keep his hands on the ball though, get it back. Get it over to Cody. Cody's gonna get a look at a three now, and Cody puts it in. Give the lead back to Wareham. Gibson double teamed, gets it away. Some nice ball movement, misdirection by the Spartans. Gibson. There's a whistle before the shot. Let's see what the call is here. Okay, so carry on guilty of the foul, but it was before the shot. So that's why there's that's why uh, Gibson's not at the line. It was before the shot. Travers, nice play on that inbound to knock that up. That's gonna go off the hands of Demora. So Wareham gets the ball on a turnover. We're out of bounds. Up by three, 24 to 21, 5, 13 to go in the second. Carry on sets a screen. Travis is just gonna pull up, take it himself and get it. Travis guilty of the foul. Graham's 14 foul in the first half. Travis first personal. Another three. Lown, Talbot Lown is dangerous from beyond the arc. He's hit four three-pointers in this game. Cody now with a three. Cody gets it, gets those back. 30 to 24, Wareham on top, 418 to go in the second. Again, the full court press and aggressive defense. Trying to double team the ball handler. Blocking foul against Bishop Stang. Tyron Gomes picks up the personal. Clock coming up on four minutes to play in the quarter. Six point lead for Wareham. Pittman working the baseline. Nice block in there. and got the basket for Wareham, I think. Oh, nice move. Gavin Demora put on the brakes. 
Puts it up and in for the basket. 32-26, Wareham on top. Cody for three. Nope. Carry on with the rebound. He's got three red jerseys around him. Good job to get it away. Pittman. No, that's Cody. Sorry. Up and in. Picks it out. Travis going to look for three. That's in and out. And Stang has it go out of bounds where they're trying to get the rebound. Slopes lobs it into Cross and Cross and gives it up to Pittman. Cody going to take an open shot from inside the arc. Crossing gets the rebound. Crossing trying to put it back. Can't get it to go. Graham had two, three opportunities on the offensive glass that time, but couldn't get one to fall. Gibson working around Lopes into the paint, up and over. No good, but he got his own rebound and he puts it in. Lopes goes coast to coast. Gibson's going to put up a shot. Good guarding. Oh, they're going to leave Lawton again, open for a three, and he gets it again. Cannot leave. Talbot Lown open for threes. He's been making them all day long. Pittman's going to get an open look at a three. Crossing picks up his second in the team fifth. It's a three point game, 34 to 31. Wareham's still on top, 144 to go in the second. But Stang has possession. They got to find a way to take the shot away from Talbot Lown, though. Do not let him get open. He's calling for it now. Nice job by Pittman to cut it off before it could get there. Graham's going to take their first time out of the game. Graham making good use of the timeout. Up three, 34 to 31, with 124 left in the second quarter. Kicked it out to Mello. Mello's going to put up a high arcing three, but it's over the basket. And they're going to give it to Wareham, saying it went off a. Uh, off of Spartan's foot. Pittman right there and puts it in. J-Ron. Gotta know where Lown is. Nice steal by Pittman. There's a travel call. Stein was calling for it. They thought Graham traveled at least one or two times prior to that, but they finally got it. 41.3 seconds left. Five point lead for Graham, 36 to 31. Again, that aggressive defense. Loughton again. Loughton. Six three-pointers for him in the first half. 
Any three-point shot he's taken, he's making. Cuts it to a two-point Wareham lead. Wareham again gonna hold out for the last shot of the quarter. Cody's gonna have to put it up, and it's gonna be short. First half ends. Wareham on top, 36 to 34. Back with the second half in just a moment. All right, we're all set to start the third quarter here from Lakeville. Wareham against Bishop Stang in the final game of the Mitch Kuliga Classic. Wareham comes into the second half with a two-point lead, 36 to 34. Leading scorer for the Vikings in the first half was A.J. Lopes with 12. Loose ball recovered by Stang. Dejon Gibson works to the baseline, up and over, rebound Mello. Leading scorer on the other side was Talbot Lown, 18 points, all three pointers. So that's the story for the second half. They've got to lock him down. Cody hits a three to open up the scoring in the second half. It's a five point Wareham lead now. Lown, that's gonna be his first miss from downtown. But Gibson with the rebound up and over. Gets it back into his hands. Taken away by Cody. Clean steal, no call. Kicks it back out to Cody. Cody gets an open look at a three and banks it in. Talbot Lown had been almost automatic from beyond the arc up until that miss, that first miss. But still, he hits six in the first half. So you still have to treat him as a serious three-point threat. Pittman trying to get it away from Lown. Gets it out of bounds, so now Lown's gonna inbound. Can't let him take open looks. He made him give it up. Good defense by Wareham. Inside to Baptiste. Baptiste posts up against Crossan and banks it in. Oh, Cody slipping, yeah, there he got it away. <laughs> Cody slipped and went to the floor as he tried to make that cut going around the corner. Good awareness to get it away to A.J. Lopes. Lopes long cross court to Cody. Cody over to Pittman, Pittman for three. Off the back of the rim. Cody fighting for the loose ball and gets it over to Crossan. No, from the corner. Gets it in for three. 45, 36, nine point Wareham lead, 5.43 to go in the third. Wareham's open up the quarter on a 9-2 run. Skips a no look pass. We're gonna have a foul called. Gonna be on Mello. That's Mello's first personal and the first team foul of the second half for the Vikings. Stang getting set, inbound to Gibson. Really only had two or three Spartans taking shots. Baptiste is one of them. And he gets a three. You gotta watch Baptiste, you gotta watch Gibson, and you gotta watch Talbot Lown. That three is no good. Rebound by Baptiste, and he got it away before he went to the floor. Six 
Sage. Wow. Sage Baptiste sinks another three. Cuts the deficit to three. Graham on top, 45-42. Rope's gonna work in the baseline. Frosten's calling for it. Puts it up and over. Cody got the rebound, bounces it to Pittman. Pittman puts it down. Baptiste working against Cross and two big bodies. Traveling. Baptiste took an extra step, so Wareham gets a turnover. Cody's going to look at a three. Well, it, it kind of looked like they were both at it, but they're going to give it to Stang. Cody with a steal, knocks it away to Pittman. Pittman up ahead to Lopes. Lopes. Baskets no good, but he draws a foul. So Lopes will get to the line. Foul is going to be on Gavin DeMora. That's his first personal and the first team foul for staying in the second half. Lopes gets two at the line. Free throws become so important later in the game. I've seen it happen time and time again. Lopes knocks them both down. Gets the lead up to seven for Rareham, 49 to 42 with 343 to go in the third quarter. Pittman made a nice break on that pass, but wasn't able to get a hand on it. Baptiste to the inside and in. Mellow for three. Off the rim. And Cody for a foul. It's his personal. His first personal. Carry on making a nice play on that inbound to Baptiste. Except to clean. Didn't get a hand on it. Gibson looking for something. Nice play by Travers to knock it away. Knock it loose and it's picked up by Pittman. Travis thought about a three, kicked it over to Pittman. Pittman puts it up and in, that's a deep two. Jake Juan Pittman with the basket. Makes it 51 to 44 for Wareham. Gibson with a spin move, trying to get away from Lopes. Gibson's gonna take a deep three and he banks it in. Kind of what I expected at the outgo. This has been a pretty even game. Lopes can't get it to fall. And Lowne with the rebound. Spartans guilty of the travel. Wareham takes possession. Up 51-47, under two to play in the third. Pitt 
Pittman going to take a three. That's off the front of the rim. From the corner, Clown has to give it up. Good job by Pittman contesting the shot. Knocked it away. Cody, nice job. Ball on the floor. Picked up by Carrion. They're gonna give they're gonna call traveling on Carrion. I don't understand that. I thought he was standing still as he threw it, but nevertheless they're calling it on Carrion. So traveling on Wareham gives the ball to Stang. Either way. Gibson working against two Vikings. Lown. This is the second third of the quarter. Travers got the corner three. Gibson fast break up the other way. Knocked away by Wareham, picked up. Cody coming up the other way. Out to Lopes. Lopes takes a three. Lopes is off the front of the rim, and it's Baptiste with the rebound. 23 seconds to go in the third quarter. Uh, Carrion didn't set his feet, so he's guilty of the blocking foul. It's a second personal and the third team foul for Wareham in the second half. Lown gets the open three. Travis trying to contest it. And Lown finding his stroke again. All of his baskets have been three pointers in this game. That's his seventh. Three-point bucket of the afternoon. And Travis traveled before he let the shot go. Four-point lead for Wareham, 54 to 50. 1.8 seconds remaining in the third quarter. And that shot's gonna be no good. So Wareham takes a four-point lead into the fourth quarter. took a long three, but it was no good, and it's Baptiste with the defensive rebound for the Spartans. And we really got three scorers on the floor to, work, to look out for, Baptiste, Gibson, and Lau. They've been the three scoring threats for Bishop Stang. Crossing's gonna get the rebound. Give it up to Pittman. Teague's going to start to set in for both teams who have been playing hard all game. Travers looking for three, and it gets stuck. Hey, Crossan knocks it loose. It's one of those oddities you see in basketball. Gibson working against A.J. Lopes. And Travers. Ah. Oh. Lopes took it away, tried to stay in bounds, but stepped out before he could get it back to a teammate. But still. Loud, the three-point threat. Off the mark, over the backboard, out of bounds. You know, he's missed a couple in this second half, but if he had made them, this would be a different game right now. 
Mello knocks it in for three. Seven point lead for the Vikings, 57 to 50. Six and a half to go. Gibson takes a three, that's off the mark. They are, well they're calling Crossing. I thought they were gonna call Pittman. No, well, they called it on Crossing, and that's his third. And Baptiste is gonna be at the line for two. Baptiste has taken over, leading the charge for scoring in the second half for Bishop Stang. He's got 11, including that last free throw. He got them both, and you can add that 12 to the seven he had in the first half. So that's 19. He and Talbot Lown, the leading scorers for the Spartans. Lopes, nice move inside and gets the basket. Lopes adding to his total on the day. Coming up on six minutes to play. With a seven point lead for the Vikings. Baptiste for three, that's gonna be short. I was saying it went off the Viking. That's no good, and it's Pittman with the rebound. Over to Lopes. Lopes working the lane, but that's that's over the basket. The crossing gets the rebound and the putback. 61 to 52, nine point lead for the Vikings. Gibson working against Crossing. Baptiste not giving up on the play, gets the basket. charge on Crossing. Baptiste set his feet. So that's his fourth. He's in foul trouble. And he's going to have to sit. Baptiste set his feet, drew the charge. It's also the 15th foul against Wareham. Meanwhile, Bishop only has one foul on him. Cody's gonna be a little off the mark. Pittman with the rebound and that's gonna be off, off of the Spartan. Wareham's gotta keep the emotions in check. I know they haven't liked some of the calls, but they still have a 61 to 54 lead. So they got to protect that lead. Baptiste got his hands on it, knocked it out of bounds. Graham's just going to play tough, stay mentally in the game. Don't let Stang take you out of your game plan. Good ball movement. Mello takes a contested three that's going to be off the rim, and Gibson gets the defensive board for the Spartans. Uh, Carrion gets a blocking foul. He moved his feet, had to move his feet. Karen picks up his third, that's a 16 foul. The so next foul puts Bishop Stang in the bonus and they'll go to the line for one-on-one. -on -one. Nice block on the inbound by Carrion. Cody comes up the other way, Cody puts it home. 
to get the Vikings a nine point lead. 63 to 54, under four to go in the game. Nice takeaway, steal by Lopes. Lopes over to carry on, carry on with the layup. It's an 11 point Wareham lead. Coach Faniel wanted to, oh, they're call, they are calling the travel. No, no foul, no defensive foul. The baseline referee called a blocking foul, but he was overruled by the referee at midcourt who called the travel. So it's a turnover. Wareham needed that. Nice little mid-range jumper. Three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. 67-54, Wareham leads. 13-point game. Gibson driving into the lane. Baptiste able to keep it alive. It goes out of bounds that was good awareness by Mello to let it go, not touch it. This, I think, has got to be the biggest lead of the game in, for either team. Wareham's starting to pull away. Now they just need to close it out. Play smart. Watch the fouls. Pittman, nice! Layup by Jaron. 69-54 with 2.15 to go in the fourth. Bounds stepped out of bounds. finds Mello in the lane. Mello banks it home. Seventy-one fifty-four. Wareham. One thirty-eight to go in the fourth. Ooh, Tarion. Tarion was making a play on the ball. They butted heads. If I was carrying on, I'd be checking on, on uh, Morrissey there. So I think he's uh, got his nose banged up a little bit. Carrion picks up his fourth. Stang's in the bonus now. So Jake Landers is going to go to the line to shoot the one and one for Bishop Stang. Point lead now, one 
13 to go in the game. Bounce inside. Graham Fell is against Taj Pena. Jack DeRoss at the line for Stang knocks down his first shot. Knocks down both. Eighteen point game now, with under a minute to go. Susco. Trading off with Pittman. Pittman works in the lane, kicks it out to Pina. Pina, nope. But a good looking shot. Stang, I think, is just going to let this one run out. And that's going to be it. Wareham takes the winner's game, 74 to 56. What a defensive performance in the fourth quarter, only allowing six points and scoring 20. Here. And he earned it.
right, that's going to do it for WCTV Sports at the 2023 Mitch Kaluga Classic. Wareham comes away with the victory after all of that. 74-56 uh, the final. This was kind of the game I expected up until the fourth quarter. It was even, it was back and forth. They were very consistent, very close game. And then Wareham just poured it on and pulled away in the fourth quarter. Offensively scoring 20 points, defensively only allowing six. So an outstanding job by Coach Fainel getting his team ready. Good uh, feel for the kids as they're going into the playoffs. A very important win, very important momentum booster as they head into the postseason. Your leading scorer is unofficially for tonight. For Wareham, it was Aaron Cody with 15 and A.J. Lopes with 18. A.J. Lopes took home the trophy for the tournament MVP, so congratulations to him. Uh, on the other side, you had Sage Baptiste score 21 points for Bishop Stang, and you had Talbot Lown, who was dangerous from beyond the arc all night long as he hit uh, seven three-pointers, six of them in the first half alone, and he finished with 19 points. He got a little off the mark in the second half. Otherwise, this could have been a different game if he'd been able to keep it closer, have the momentum going the other way, even possibly at a couple points, give Stang the lead. But Wareham pulls it out at the end. Again, your final 74 to 56. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on WCTV Sports, and we look forward to seeing you as we go into the playoffs.